my name is Jan Boerta and in this section we are going to look at Interaction Recorder Replay functionality. Now at any point in time when you would like to listen to a recording or indeed view the associated screen content of that recording you will have to go in and replay the recording. In order for you to do this after you've run your search query and it's returned the correct results you can double click on the recording which will then open up in a replay window. When the recording opens, it will automatically start to play, in most cases, and you can see it by the slider moving across the screen. Now, at the top of the screen over here, you can actually see the sound information contained within this recording that I have just opened. You can move the slider to specific points by simply keeping the left mouse button down and dragging it to the correct point. You can also insert comments by right-clicking, selecting Add, typing in your comment or bookmark. It'll then put it into the recording and any future reviewers will see the bookmark if I highlight my mouse or hover my mouse over it, it will show up on the screen as a tooltip. Also, you've got the normal controls over here, play, stop, move forward, move back. You have got the audio control over here for the volume up and down. You can even increase or decrease the speed of the playback and you can go and add additional bookmarks to the system if you want to. Now within the recording playback window you also have details about this recording listed at the bottom over here. We've got our media details regarding the recording itself. We have got our participant data which will include the participants that were involved in this recording, any additional attributes and it also gives you the ability to go and add attributes that you can then at a later stage use for search functionality for example. You do have an order track over here. You can see that the recordings have been played back. Modify recording is essentially just the fact that I've added that bookmark a little bit earlier on in our discussion. You can also from here go and assign questionnaires and scoring functions. You have got any tags that have been assigned to this recording and any events associated with the recording. Things like transfers, holds, conference functions. These will all be listed in the events section. In this section, we had a look at interaction recorder replay functionality. Thank you very much for joining me and see you again soon.